I'm gonna show you exactly how I went from a struggling small YouTuber to blowing up my first gaming channel and then eventually getting to the point where I've now gained over 1 billion video views across all the channels I've worked on. And the only reason I'm flexing these big numbers like a complete douche is because I want you to pay very close attention when I give you the following piece of advice. Because this advice was instrumental in my quote unquote overnight success where I took my channel from getting 15 subscribers per month to 1,500 subscribers per month in a little over six weeks. And I've got to be honest, when I first heard this piece of advice, I thought it was the dumbest thing ever. And here it is. The best way to succeed on YouTube is to be on YouTube. And when I first heard this, I remember thinking, you know, wow, thanks grandma, that's really profound. Because I didn't really get it. But now, years later, it finally makes a lot of sense. So let me help you understand using a great analogy I've shamelessly stolen from Trent Dysmond. So it's called the green dot theory. And it's probably gonna completely change the way you think about blowing up your YouTube channel. Here's how it works. So when you first come up with the idea to start a YouTube channel, maybe Maybe it's a funny moments channel. Maybe it's a let's play channel. Maybe it's a tutorial channel. Regardless, you're thinking to yourself, hey, I'm gonna go out there, learn how to record and upload videos, and then I'm gonna make videos about green dots. And I'm gonna be the very best green dot creator there ever was. Minstrels will write songs about my green dot videos. And then you go out there, create a bunch of green dot videos, and you promptly suck. If you're anything like I was when I started, your view counts are depressing enough to make a happy meal cry. And so that's kind of disappointing. And so after a while in this green dot phase, most people make the mistake of giving up. And that's really sad because that means that they're never gonna experience any success on YouTube, let alone blow up their channel. But here's where it gets really interesting because a small percentage of people, they don't give up. And some of these people, they go out and as a byproduct of trying to figure out how to create the best green dot videos that get views, they discover blue dot videos. And it looks like these blue dot videos could be really successful and a lot of fun to make. And so they kind of scrap their green dot videos and they adjust their channel and they go ahead and start making blue dot videos. And things get a little bit better. They start sucking a little bit less. And here's the thing. When they're over here starting their YouTube channel making green dot videos, they didn't even know blue dot videos existed. But as a result of being in the game and creating green dot videos, they discovered these blue dot videos that seem to perform a lot better. But overall, if we're honest, they're still not doing very well. However, after some time, what happens at this point is as a result of making these blue dot videos, they discover something that absolutely blows them away and changes everything red dot videos, or if you want to get technical, permanent geranium lake dot videos. Because this is definitely the first color that comes to mind when you think lake. Anyway, these red dot videos seem to have even more potential than blue dot videos. And so they change niches again, and now they start making red dot videos and their channel picks up a little bit more. And now that they're making these red dot videos, they start getting far more views and subscribers than they were getting when they were creating, say, green dot videos back in the beginning. But they're still not achieving the level of success that they ultimately want. And so while they're out there tweaking and optimizing and trying to figure out how to get more views on their red dot videos, they discover that there is, in fact, an opportunity to start creating these awesome things called orange dot videos. Now again, back here at the beginning, they had no idea that orange dot videos even existed. But now they've gone from making green dot videos to blue dot videos to red dot videos to orange. Now their channel is growing faster than ever before. And if they continue to stay true to this vision of blowing up on YouTube while also staying open to how it plays out, then as they're creating these orange dot videos, they're doing better than they've ever done before. But then they come across the fact that there's actually these shiny brand new purple dot videos that are doing really, really well. And so they switch their content again, they start focusing on these purple dot videos instead of orange dot videos, and the growth curve gets even steeper. And this process can continue even beyond the purple dot videos, but hopefully you're getting the message that I'm trying to convey here. The best way to succeed on YouTube is to be on YouTube. Yes, there are tactics and strategies that can help you get results on YouTube faster, but if you're spending all of your time overthinking and planning or procrastinating about creating your green dot videos, you're never gonna discover blue dots, you're never gonna discover red dots, you're never gonna discover orange dots, or whatever it is that your YouTube journey is gonna help you uncover. If you wanna blow up your channel, simply start. And while you're going, stay true to the overall vision of blowing up your channel, but be open to how it plays out. See, for those of you who know my story, You'll know that I started a gaming channel back in 2015. And my green dot videos were Minecraft tutorials. And man, these videos were so bad. They were recorded in 480p. I was using the internal mic from my laptop to record my voice so 
So the audio was so bad. I mean, Vincent van Gogh would have cut off his other ear. Now, sure, I had a little bit of success, but basically all my videos sucked. But then I discovered Blue Dot videos. In my case, I realized that I actually didn't want my channel to be about education. I wanted to be about entertainment. And so I stopped creating the tutorials and started creating more Let's Play style videos and game show sort of videos. And my results got a little bit more consistent and I started enjoying my channel a bit more. And so while my results were a little bit better, obviously I was still a long, long way away from where I wanted to be. But as a result of creating those videos, I then discovered this opportunity to create permanent geranium lake dot videos, <coughs> red dot videos. I can't remember exactly, but I think one of the creators I was collaborating with at the time told me about this event that was on. And at this event, there was a reveal for the sequel of one of my favorite all time games, Mountain Blade. And so I thought, heck, why don't I make some videos talking about the reveal and covering the reveal of this game? Because it was something I was interested in anyway. So I pivoted again, took all the things I'd learned, and I also switched up my style a little bit because I knew that the audience of Mountain Blade were going to be very different to the audience of, say, Minecraft. So I started applying these new things I was learning. This new audience taught me not to be as, as screamy and to become a bit more of myself as a creator. And that was the first time that I had videos that actually started properly breaking the 1,000 view mark. Bear in mind, I went from creating green dot Minecraft tutorials to blue dot Minecraft entertainment star videos to red dot mountain blade news and update kind of videos, I guess. And this whole process actually took me a really long time. It was over a year and throughout that process, I'd seen a little bit of success. I think I had about 150 subscribers, which was great, but I was still feeling a little bit disheartened and downtrodden. But ultimately these red dot videos didn't work out. They weren't growing me fast enough and it wasn't really where I wanted to be at the end of the day. And so when I discovered this new opportunity to create orange dot videos, which for me were Star Wars Battlefront commentary videos, I jumped on it. Now, prior to these Star Wars Battlefront commentary videos, my let's plays and commentaries were pretty bland with very little editing. A shot from there, that's a beautiful shot. But based on what I'd learned since then, I started adding in more pattern interrupts, more effects, and I started seeing more success than I'd ever seen before. And I actually realized that I actually really enjoyed editing and memeing videos, something that back in my green dot days was by far my least favorite part in the whole process. And then that led me to discovering purple dot videos, which was the point where my channel ended up blowing up. Cause I realized that people were really enjoying the edits and memes that I was adding into the videos. I was really enjoying creating those types of videos. In fact, so much so that I decided to test cutting myself, me commentating out of the video completely and just recording gameplay and adding in effects and memes and stuff. And that's when the growth curve went all hockey stick. I went from getting 15 subscribers per month to over 1,000 500 subscribers per month and the rest is history I ended up growing that particular channel to almost 25 million views working on a whole bunch of different channels yada 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 you get the idea and sure I learned a lot of tactics and strategies and techniques along the way but I would never in a million years have known to do Star Wars Battlefront funny clip compilation videos if I hadn't have taken that first step and just went with YouTube and I'm not the only one with a story like this I've personally worked with hundreds of creators throughout my courses and my YouTube certification and the vast vast majority of these channels they started with green dot videos and then went to blue dots and red dots and orange dots and purple dots, learning and implementing and pivoting until they found that thing that really worked and they took off. So here's what I want you to do now. I have a video revealing what I think are the nine most important things to nail for growing a YouTube channel. It's a pretty long video because I go pretty in depth, but I want you to watch it. It's on screen now. And after watching it, I want you to just get started. Focus on just implementing those nine things and just taking action and creating content over the next few weeks. So click the video, start taking action and watch the dots start joining themselves.